Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a Sephora haul unboxing video. There's been a lot of little things coming out at Sephora and as always I like to try anything that comes out that is new and sounds interesting or intriguing to me so that I can try it out and share with you whether or not I think it's worth it. So I have shopped um, in three different occasions for new things that I thought were worth a try. And in today's video, I'm going to show you them all. I might try a couple of things, but there are others that I'm saving for future videos. I cannot wait to show you everything that I got that is new at Sephora. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let me just go ahead and start with the Sephora bag. This was an in-store purchase I did the other day and I was very surprised at the amount of new lip products I was seeing walking around the store and I picked up three different lip items that are new and I was really intrigued to try so let me show you. First things first, we have the newly reformulated liquid lipsticks by Huda Beauty. I got the color Sweet Talker and I honestly don't have like huge expectations for this one. I'll say that right now because I feel like I'm no longer into liquid lipsticks, but there are a few exceptions. So I decided to go ahead and try it anyway, since I've been hearing that the formula is different, is new, is super thin, you barely feel it on your lips, etc. So here is what my tube looks like. Let's go ahead and give you a swatch right there. I feel like Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks have traditionally been on the thinner side, like even when they first came out and all of the liquid lipsticks on the market were the very thick drying ones, I felt like her liquid lipsticks were different because they were thinner than the rest, a little bit more comfortable to wear, etc. So that's why I'm curious about her new and improved formula so that I can kind of see how it has changed. And this is something that I'll try in today's video because I can't wait to see what it feels like, but let me first unbox everything. Another new lip product that definitely piqued my interest was this right here. This is the Love Swipe lightweight cushiony lip mousse by Kaja and I got mine in the color 02 sweet softy as always Kaja always has the cutest packaging and so these are heart-shaped bottles it says Kaja on one side and then it says love swipe on the other and they're kind of like soft to the touch in a way and I actually really like the way that these swatch even though they're like a liquid lipstick type of product because they are a mousse consistency. They felt on the back of my hand really nice and they look like very soft. Um, so I feel like these will make our lips look soft or at least that is my current expectation. Let's give you guys a little swatch of this one too. And of course I got colors that are super similar because these are just the type of colors that I like. See how it's like a lot less pigmented, a little softer. A bit more shiny. I'm wondering if this needed a little shaking so let me try that. No this is the consistency okay I feel like I remembered it differently from the store but see this softer texture and finish is definitely something that I have been a lot more into lately and so we'll give this one a try as well before the video ends. I picked up a third lip product from my in-store visit I could not help myself and it is the new makeup by Mar lipstick these are the moisture glow plumping lip serums and it's kind of like a lip balm type of lipstick I got mine in the color apricot glow and you'll be surprised it does not look this color mainly because the one that did was sold out so I had to settle for something else but I actually do think that I'll really like this one so it's much more of an orangey peachy type of lip this is what the packaging looks like right here it has a soft matte finish and it looks like this is one of those that twists up but it won't twist back down so make sure you don't twist out too much because we definitely don't want to ruin this one so I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right here and that is what this one looks like it's a lot more peachy and I really love how juicy and glowy this looks I feel like this is definitely going to be a hit with me I might have to place an order for the shades that I couldn't get in store okay so that completes my in-store order so let's get into one of these boxes next 
Okay, so from the first box, I got this right here, and that is actually all that is in it because I had forgotten to um, order this one when I placed the first order. Anyways, this is the new Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer from KVD Beauty. This is called the Good Apple Concealer, I believe, and I got mine in the shade 109, which I'm very curious about the color because I wasn't sure from the swatches to be honest. This has really really cute packaging, plastic, shiny, let's see. I feel like I might have actually chosen a good color for me. I'm very very curious about this one because it says lightweight and full coverage which sounds like a dream but we'll definitely have to see how that actually works on the face especially because i have dry skin so i'm really not sure and i think i might have gotten a color that's a little bit too light but that's okay i will definitely make it work and this is one of those products that is definitely going to get its own separate video because i need to not only try it but i definitely want to wear it for an extended period of time i want to do a wear test and see if it changes throughout the day if it oxidizes etc and so i'm super pumped to try this one and um that is what i'll be doing tomorrow Ooh, these are bigger than i expected okay okay so before i show you the rest of the things that i got i do think that i'll be trying these products along with the concealer tomorrow because i can kind of review them all together I'm pretty sure anyways milk has new highlighters and new liquid bronzers i was very confused why the highlighter was more expensive than the bronzer but as you can see um the packaging is a lot bigger which i don't know i think i personally would prefer to have a bigger bronzer rather than a bigger highlighter but that's just me i just love bronzer <laughs> So I got my bronzer in the color Time Travel. And this right here is what the packaging looks like. I really hope it's not as warm as the packaging shows, but we'll see. Let me just go ahead and swatch it, why not? Okay, definitely not as warm as the packaging, which is a huge, huge relief. This is kind of what it looks like right here. It looks extremely soft. I'm not sure exactly how much color I'm going to be able to get out of it, but it is also a liquid product. So I'm pretty sure you could also like mix this in with your foundations if you want your foundation to be a little bit darker at some point throughout the year. I'm excited to try it. Let's go ahead and open the highlighter as well. Here's the highlighter packaging in comparison to the bronzer. It's a lot bigger. And I got the highlighter in the color virtual, but out of the two colors that I saw on the website, it's the rose one, not the gold one. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like swashed. Okay, I definitely need to read up on these products before I start trying them because this also doesn't feel super, super highlighty. So I am wondering if these are meant to be mix-ins rather than products on their own, if that makes sense. Okay, so the bronzer says it's a lightweight liquid bronzer with skincare benefits that can be dialed up for a warm sun-kissed finish or sheared out for a soft diffuse contour. So they're talking about using it on its own, how to use, shake well, gently squeeze, blend into skin, and it can be worn alone or over makeup. So, so I guess they're not meant to be mixed in. They do look extremely, extremely natural on the back of my hand. But I don't know, I'm excited to try them and see how they wear. And then we have this right here, which I'm also pretty excited to try. This is from Rose Ink. I've never tried anything from the brand before and it is their Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I read on the website that this actually has a medium coverage and so I'm pretty excited to use it. Here is what the packaging looks like. It has the little balls of pigment in there. I got mine in the color 040 and it's described as a luminous tinted serum. I'm going to just do a little pump right here. And let's go ahead and blend it. Okay, that is very, very interesting because it almost looks like an invisible coverage, but like in the best way possible. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like the back of my hand definitely looks blurred and very even, 
but I can't really tell that I have makeup on it. So I am super excited to try this in an upcoming video as well and give you guys a review on it. So that is everything new that I saw at Sephora that piqued my interest. And like I said, the concealer and these right here, definitely watch out for upcoming videos on these products. But for today, I do wanna try the lipsticks. So let's start with the Mario one. It's very peachy, so it's not necessarily going to match this eye look, but just look past that. <laughs> Take a look right here. I feel like based on my current lip product preferences, this might be my favorite out of everything that I bought. And here's what it looks like without the distracting black smoky eye. I love this. I'm most likely placing an order for more shades of this whenever I get anything at Sephora next because I love the way this looks and I love the way this feels. So nice. Next, I wanna try the casual one. Oh, this, oh, this smells so good. It smells like fake fruity in the best way possible. Like one of those roll up candy things that you eat and it's like a big string. That's what it smells like to me. <laughs> I also love this. And this does match my distracting smoky eye, so that's great. This feels just like a lip balm. I like that it's shiny, but not too shiny, and that it has a really nice amount of color where you can even get your lips to look a little bit more even with it without having to line them. This was unexpectedly amazing, 10 out of 10. It feels very hydrating. It also feels like it's going to last a little while i'll have to report back to you on that but i love the color i love the intensity i love the way it feels on my lips i love the smell of it as well so so pretty i love this and you can kind of build it up or shear it down if you want as well and i left the huda one for last since this is the most intense one by the way i will of course have the list of everything that is in this haul down below with the names of the specific shades i'm trying in case you guys are interested so let's go for this one i'm very confused because so far this does not feel like a liquid lipstick at all but i feel like in the promo pictures it does look like it dries down it just might not dry down right away so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it i don't know four minutes it's 9 46 we'll give it till 9 50 to dry down and i'll report back because so far it feels amazing <laughs> Okay, 9.52, the liquid lipstick is dry, and now that it is dry, it does feel a little bit more like a liquid lipstick. It has a bit more of that sticky feeling to it is the only way I could describe it, because it really doesn't feel thick or heavy on my lips, and because it is so thin, I don't really feel like it makes my lips look dry or cracky, you know, like that liquid lipstick look. Take a look right here. I actually think that it looks really, really pretty, but it does feel just a little bit sticky is the only way that I could describe it. For a liquid lipstick, it is a 10 out of 10. But like I've been saying throughout the video, I personally just feel like I'm a bit more into the glowy lip look as of lately. So I definitely much prefer the formula of the Kaja one or the Makeup by Mario lipstick. These two were... A definite hit I really hope that you guys enjoyed this haul if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please don't leave without subscribing and definitely keep an eye out for videos with the new rose ink foundation the good apple concealer and the milk highlighter and bronzer I might combine a couple of things into one video but all of that is definitely coming soon I love you guys so so much thank you for being here and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!